And so another area we've mentioned line managers so many times in terms of um, the way that they are so important in looking after the people in their organization and also recognizing that they themselves need to be supported both in their own well-being and, and their skills. And I'd just be interested in, in some of the, the key skills and, and responses that, that you've seen have been helpful for line managers. What, what do you see as important to put in place? I think one of the biggest challenges for line managers is operational delivery and stretch. And I think, I think for it to, to come from the top that this is one of our organizational objectives and therefore there is an, an accountability element, but also an objective and an appraisal, looking after your people or making sure that your people are safe gives people the time and the permission because I think to Claire's earlier point it's still seen as an add-on it's still seen as something else that I have to do as part of my line manager role I now need to take five minutes out of my day to check in on people and I would argue that that is what we should be doing as line managers and as good people but we forget that those line managers are also just people and given the COVID pandemic, I think everybody was so stretched in so many different ways that there wasn't often a lot to give anywhere else. Um, demanding workloads and requests from clients and customers. And the old saying goes, um, the customer is always right. And the potential risk that has on, on the impact of our people. Um, so I think Giving people, or giving line managers, firstly, the tools, and that comes down to competency framework. I think aligning technical competency and people competency is important, and then giving them the time to, to do that. So almost saying that 20% of your role should be focusing on people, training, inclusivity, diversity, because all those good things lead into a psychologically safe working environment but we can't be sending another team talk and another newsletter and another thing to be done on the, off the side of the desk when we're expecting them to still deliver an operational role. Um, I think that's the most, the biggest lesson learned um, for us and for many organizations. Mm, I think that really resonates with the work that we did many, many years ago for the health and safety executive looking at line management competencies to prevent and reduce work stress. And the idea being that we can't have it as an extra, it needs to be integrated. And actually many line managers are selected into their role on the basis of competencies. They're promoted on the basis of competencies. So if we can make sure that we've got those competencies embedded into all behavioral systems that we're using in the organization, we've got a much better chance of promoting health and protecting our employees in the, in the long run as well. So. Really pleased that you, um, you're you focusing on that behavioral piece because I think often we see the role of um, providing mental health awareness rather than providing the time and providing um, the key skills. And it needs to be all of those things, doesn't it, to take, take forward. 